this point, it isn't so much a game as it is one of the chief cultural media exports of Ukraine. There's nothing this humble gaming historian can tell you of the plot of the game or its development that hasn't already been covered by hundreds of other videos on the internet. This game is worth experiencing, and it is most decidedly a product of Ukrainian game development. GameSpot's review of the game rated it great, praising the blend of atmospheric survival elements and roleplay, but complained about bugs. You know what they say, if you want to make a great game, you need to break a few lines of code to get it working just right. Bravo, Todd. The game released in 2007, a packed year for big-name video games including such classics as Bioshock, Halo 3, Team Fortress 2, and Half-Life 2 Episode 2. It's easy to see why some may have missed this game during its initial release. You play as THE Stalker, shooting all manner of natural and unnatural wildlife in the zone, an area encompassing the surrounding of the Chernobyl disaster area. Revel in the familiar yet completely alien landscape. Enjoy activities such as walking, running, climbing, and falling to your death. Feel the tension build as you explore the surroundings in search of hidden and forgotten treasures like guns, ammo, and oh, toilet paper. Brave anomalies, areas within the zone where physics have gone wrong and visible and invisible threats wait for your unsuspecting stumbling idiot ass to walk into them, die again and again to the same stupid bullshit and get frustrated. Feel despair after failing for the sixth time in a row. What kind of psychos made this piece of shit? Oh, right. At this point, the game is more of a nostalgic jumping off point rather than the actual thing I desire to play. A fully standalone mod called Anomaly allows one to play through the combined maps of all three Stalker games in one place. It features a storyline that attempts to incorporate the games together into a single narrative structure and allows the player to start playing as any faction available. There are even mods for this mod. Some increase the difficulty of their survival in the game. Some add weapons and animations, or change the visual fidelity. There are also player-added quests, and so much more. Is Stalker good? The term Eurojank is sometimes used when referring to the game. I find that unfair. The game attempts to punch way above its weight, and is more ambitious than it really has any right to be. Fans of the game definitely saw that ambition, and have built upon it to such an extent that we finally get to see a somewhat more stable experience. 